Welcome back to Wood Acres. So I'm heading up to the barn right now. I have a few things to take care of a few things. I noticed this morning that one of my khaki Campbells had a bloody beak. So I want to get her all cleaned up and get some salve on her to help her heal. And then we also had a storm roll through last night with a lot of wind. Go inside, Doc. What are the goats doing? Get inside, goat. What are you doing, Bonnie? You're way far out from the bubble. You're gonna get picked off by a hawk, Bonnie. Are you know the other chicken's jealous, girl? Yeah, come here. Come here, Bonnie. Come here. Oh, oh, we got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. We'll take you back to your flock, Bon. Get a free ride all the way back to your flock. Mumbles, keep an eye on these chickens. What are you doing, Mumbles? You got a dirty mouth. Puppy, this is an inside toy. What are you doing? Come on, pup. And, and it knocked over my duck house, among other things around the property, but I need to take a look at the duck house and see what it needs to actually secure it to the ground this time. I secured it to the ground before, but it obviously didn't work. So we have a few things to work on up here at the barn. So come along with me. Let's enjoy nature and see what we can get done today. <laughs> Hey, barn animals. What are you doing, ducks? Hey, chickens. Goats. Hi, goats. What are you two doing? I see ya. What's all this noise, ladies? Fighting over boxes, huh? What's going on in here, puppy? What's going on with your eye? Jeez, why are you all beat up? I only see one eye with you. What's going on? You only have one eye, Doc. Kind of looks like this khaki only has one eye. That's not even the one I'm up here to tend to. We're going to take a look at all the ducks today. We're going to check this duck out first and see if she's actually missing an eye. Echo. Zeet. Come on. Zeet. Which one was it? It's this one. What's going on, girl? Are you just hurting? Okay, let me see you, let me see you, let me see you. Okay. Okay, she still has an eye, but it's definitely beat up. So you're fine. No, don't go that way, don't go that way. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. There you go. And I'm pretty sure this is why she's all beat up. And that's because of Draco, big white Pekin duck. He's the only male of the six white Pekins, and uh, he picks on all my little ducks. So we actually need to separate this flock out, but I didn't separate the white ones yet because I didn't have anywhere to put them. I was going to put them in the house, but I knew the storm was coming, so I didn't want to put any ducks out there yet. But we got to check out one of these other khakis that has the bloody beak. I see you, goat. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, little goats? What are you two doing? <laughs> Goats. We have two chickens in the goat pen right now, kind of just doing some cleanup. They just go around scratching all the hay and getting some of the bugs that are underneath the poo from the goats. So I'll probably let them out here and let them get back into some grass. I don't actually put the chickens in there, but two of the chickens went in there this morning and I kind of just shut the gate to keep the goats in there. They'll be fine for doing a little bit of cleanup maintenance for a couple hours this morning. So I brought up a towel, some Epsom salts, to give her a nice bath and clean her beak up. And then I also brought up some salve. So I was gonna use some calendula salve, but then it said not to use it on deep wounds. So I have a chickweed, chickweed salve with chickweed, comfrey, plantain, burdock, olive oil, eucalyptus oil, pine oil, and beeswax. And it's used for cuts as well. So hopefully this is gonna work out for healing up the duck bill. I always will try and try a natural remedy first, even with humans, but for the animals as well. So I'm gonna be trying this chickweed salve and I'll keep you updated through the next couple videos to see how she recovers. I'm gonna use the goat water bucket so I can get the duck bill actually dunked into the water nice and deep and I don't have to waste a ton of water to get some depth.
Now I'm going to need to catch that khaki Campbell with the wounded beak. Bill. Beak Bill? Duck Bill. Bill. All right, I'm going to go grab the khaki Campbell. I can't really hold the duck with both hands and a camera, so I'm going to leave you there and bring the duck back. Alright, we got her. She is looking terrible. Make sure the camera's on here. This way. Can you see that bill? I don't know how she did all that, but she is worn down pretty good. So we're gonna get her cleaned up in some Epsom salts. I'll get that bill all cleaned up. Epsom salts are good antibacterial and antifungal. So we're gonna dip her whole head in there. Now you just wait. And give me them feet, give me them feet. There you go. Help get all that cleaned up. Anything that's bad in there, get it rinsed out. There you go. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? And then we'll get her dried off and get the salve on there to hopefully get some oint or uh Hopefully get some vitamins and help rebuild the bill. Come on. Good, clean up. There you go. Yeah, clean up. You're going to hang out with me for a while until we get you all cleaned up, babe. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that just looks so rough. I noticed it actually because Mumbles had a little bit of blood on her side. And one, day, one morning I came in, Mumbles actually had a bloody beak. Why do you have blood on you, Mumbles? What'd you do? How did you get blood on you? Just a little bit on the edges and she rubbed it all over herself. But this one I guess bumped into Mumbles this time, so when I saw the blood on Mumbles' side, I looked at all the other ones and found this one. Looking really rough. Now this one should be, I don't know, self-inflicted. I don't really think anything did this to this duck. I think it's just been banging around on maybe the fences and stuff. And uh, beat it up. The other duck that has the eye problem, no, well, yeah, has missing feathers around the head and eye. They've been getting picked on by Draco. So if you ever do have a really bad beak bleed, this one's just raw, it's not actually bleeding really bad, so I think I'm going to be okay with healing it myself, but they do say if you have a really bad beak bleed, that it or bill, duck bill, that it does need to be cauterized, so I don't know, keep an eye out for that. Hopefully we don't have to do any of that. Good job, good job. Give me a couple more uh, dips and get you cleaned up a little bit more, and then I'll get the salve on her. Don't poop on me. Water dipping. Yeah, we're water dipping. That's a good duck. That's a good duck. Not sure how I'm gonna really do this. You stay. No, no, no. No duckling. No, it's not comfortable, huh? I'm trying to back out. I ain't gonna let you go. I ain't gonna let you go. I know. We gotta heal you up, though. We gotta heal you up, okay? Try and get it a little dry so the salve gets in there. Stay here, duckling. Stay here, girl. This is the hard part. Now I gotta try and rub salve on your beak. Bill. You have a bill. You are mine. I know, I know. You're mine. No, you're mine. I stay here. This could possibly be easier with two people.
being careful not to get any in her nostrils. The bottom beak doesn't look bad at all. I'm just going to hold her a little bit, let that salve work its way in before she runs out there and tries to work it off and run it through the water or the mud. Yeah, we're just going to hang out a little bit. Just going to hang out, take care of her, and then we'll head out there and see about the duck house, see what it needs to be flipped back over and secured to the ground. She's looking better, looking better already. Hopefully we can get you all healed up, girl. If you want to follow along with the progress of this Khaki Campbell and her bill, then uh, make sure to subscribe down below and I'll keep you updated through the next few videos. Good boy, puppy. Good boy. You keep that duck. Whoa. Get back in there, duckling. I just need you for a couple minutes. Just settle that salve in so you don't get it all filthy. I need you to heal up. So another thing I need to do today, I'm going to come in and clean out the wet side of the duck pen. You can see how much thicker this bedding's getting. All right. Where are you going? Their deep bedding side is probably 8 to 10 inches thick over here. And that side I clean out regularly to keep the uh, wet side out. But that needs cleaned out again, and these ducks are going to be getting moved out of here soon. What are you doing, duckling? I know, I know, you're injured. We'll get you all fixed up. The chickens are feedback. And she's off. She's running. Draco, leave her alone. All right, we'll see how she does. I feel bad that she's even got that much going on with her beak, and I didn't notice it earlier, but I checked out the rest of them. They're all looking pretty good, so hopefully we can get her healed up. Check out this duck house. Come on, pup. You got to come in or all the chickens will follow us. So the duck house. I did secure this to the ground with some pipe, and the pipe are still here. But the screws are not. So the screws are right here. I only used the number eight four inch screw and that was my mistake because you can see it just snapped right off. So I'm gonna grind these off, both of them, because both of them uh, snapped. Then I'm gonna need to find larger lag bolts that are gonna be able to go through the pipe and then into the wood a couple inches. I'm also thinking once we stand this up, I might put a I'll probably put a pipe in the back here to secure it up higher on the A-frame than just as bottom supports. And uh, hopefully it won't fall over like this again. I do have a tree underneath this house that I'm hoping didn't get damaged too much. It's got some bend to it. I threw this board in here last night just to keep it from falling down anymore. But the fence really caught it over there again. So I have a little bit of work to do on that as well. But I'm hoping that this, hey puppy, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I got duck all over me, huh? But I'm hoping that there isn't a break right here where it bent. So it's got buds on it right now. You can see it's starting to bud out. So hopefully we still have a live tree next to the duck house. Pretty sure the duck house itself is still structurally okay. It's just a big solid box that keeps tipping over. I'm going to get my dad's help to help tip this over so I can do it gently and turn it and not get it to break on the flip side. Draco, if that's my khaki, I'm going to beat you up, boy. All right, it's a different one. You got to stop that, Draco. I'm going to separate you. Don't even, Bonnie. Leave it open just a little bit and you're trying to go in. Aw, oh, Khaki, you're in the water, girl. Get out of that water. You gotta keep that salve on your beak. Bill, duck bill. I'm gonna try and keep the water a lot fresher right now. I usually do it three times a day, but I'm gonna, well, at least today while I'm not working, it's Sunday. So I might try and keep that water a lot fresher so if she's going in there, it keeps it cleaner instead of working her 
dirty bill and some dirty water. My brother dropped off a nice load of feed hay, so I am all stocked up here in the utility room. And I put some wood under there so it doesn't get wet if I overflow the water tank again. And then I also put a pallet underneath my two feed barrels and a pallet underneath the rest of the feed hay that I have out here. Chickens are working on the ground here, getting a dust bath and getting all the seeds out of there. But it's time to give the goats a little bit of attention. Hey goats, how you doing buddy? How you doing? I'm sorry I didn't give you any attention, but the duck needed first aid and first aid comes first goats. Get down, get down, get down. There you go. Yep, come on out. Come right back in. Oh, the door shut on you. Come here, goats. Oh, you got a you got a berry in your bowl, bud. A berry in your bowl. What are you doing, puppy? Sniffing goat butt. There you go, goats. Now you can stop belly aching. Huh. They were all cleaned up from the rain yesterday, huh? Yeah, they were standing out in the rain instead of going in their nice shelter here. Chicken, you ready to come out, Bonds? Come on, Bon Bon. Let's get you out of there. Come here. Come here. I'll just pick you up one handed like this. And, uh, yep. There you go. You're outside now. What are you doing, Spot? There's a big open box right there. Huh, Sedgwick? Green Queen had it first, huh? Spot. I hear you, ladies. I hear you. cleaned up here in the duck pen just need to change out their water I don't do that during the day because if I get clean water in there they just come in here during the day and mess it all up so I'll switch that out tonight and give them fresh water for the evening I also came in here with the loud chickens and got the goat brooder all cleaned out as well that needed a good cleaning I got it fully cleaned out swept out and fresh hay all down on the bottom excuse me ladies fresh hay all throughout I got this one bale that was slightly off colored I think it got wet so it's a lot more stuck together than the rest of the feed stock here so I used that for the bedding in both stalls and I even came out here with a couple cubes to uh, clean up the goat pen here since we had some rain yesterday the goat pen out here got all wet so i got it all dried up for them as well keeping the fresh mumbles you just push that khaki right out of there keeping the fresh water out there for the ducks don't scare her come here don't scare her out of the water we got blue on the inside here it's trying probably trying to stay away from draco and i'm getting the water all filled up here and overflowing we're good we're good. Just a little bit, just a little bit of leakage. <laughs> Would like to get a float valve hooked up to the tank in here so I wouldn't have the possibility of overflowing it all the time. But I think I'm all cleaned up here in the stalls. Got uh, the first aid taken care of on the khaki. So I'm going to get my dad's help to flip over the duck hut right now and see what it's going to take to secure that to the ground again. All right, come here, Gina. Come here. How'd you get out here? Oh, come here. Come here. Whoa, up and at them. There you go.
And we have Echo Puppy, always reminding me to check on the baby chicks inside. Oh buddy, I'll check on them. How are you all doing in there? We had to rescue one of the yellow ones with the colorful wings outside. Puppy found her just walking around on the patio here. So we had to rescue one and put her back in. I noticed yesterday actually, we have a black one that's not growing as big as the other black ones. So we have a small black one over here. I'm not sure what breed she is because we got the production pack, so it's a variety, but look at the size difference there. Definitely not as active as the other ones too. I don't know if she's just scared of all the bigger ones or what, but the yellow ones are getting big. Buckeye the rooster is even growing up. He's not quite as big as the females, but he's getting there. And Dizzy's still doing really well. Yeah, you got that crooked head, Dizzy. I like that. But I'm thinking that's a small one. If we can get that small one to survive and not get trampled, her name might be Dollop. Just a little Dollop. Echo Pup really enjoys coming out here and checking on the chicks multiple times a day. How about? Come here, Daisy. Come here. Buddy. Huh, oh, puppy? We got a little Daisy out here. Huh, oh, bud? You want her to sit on your head? You want her to sit? No? No? No head sit? That would be a good thumbnail, puppy. All right, all right. We'll put her back. But they are getting big for this brooder, so I'd like to get them out of here as soon as I can. But uh, I just don't have anywhere to put them yet. What happened, puppy? Oh, come here. Oh, we got another escapee. Got another escapee. Don't go under. I can't reach under. Oh, puppy, spook her this way. What are you doing? I gotta get you back in the heat, girl. What are you doing? Oh, oh, there you are. We got ya. We got ya. All right, let's count them. Four, eight, nine, ten. Try again. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, five. Okay, Dizzy, stay in there. I can hear a difference from inside the house. Whether one gets out, it starts chirping louder than the others, and I can always tell that one's made it out of the box. Well, I think we're gonna have to make a change. Ah, oh, little peeper. No, why do you all go underneath there? Why did I build an underneath to this brooder? That's the real question. Come here, Chicky. I want to get you back to your flock. There we go. There, we got you. Not so bad. Back in there. We're going to have to do something different here. They're knocking over my well-built, sturdy screen. Got shit on by a bird.
really hope this holds my duck house in place. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Poppy. And we were able to finish up there at the duck house and get it secured all the way around this time. Last time I only put a poke posts on the wind side the north side but this time we added some posts to the opposite side as well so it's held in all four corners hopefully that's going to hold up to all the future storms that we have because i'm ready to move my ducks back into their triangle house and get them out of the pig pen that's going to be all for this one on the homestead i do have to do some more and i have to fix up my garden entrance that also blew over in the windstorm that we had so if you want to see that go over to my nature at home channel and check out all the things happening in the gardens oh and i also took some chicken wire we got it stretched off across the brooder here so that no chicks can be jumping out anymore you can see me and echo on the next one thanks for watching <laughs>